And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here to our third race of the season of the NSRA Last of Us Light Series. As today we are getting ready for the Spartan Shootout at Spartan Speedway, getting ready for an exciting event off the heels of the Bristol Brawl. And now these drivers getting ready for yet another difficult track where it's really going to come down to being in the right place at the right time. 30 laps on tap for today's event with Luis Hernandez sitting on the pole position. Hernandez actually almost was in the running for a good run a couple weeks ago at the Bristol Brawl, but got involved in a wreck and is now 32nd in the point standing. So Luis trying to see if maybe starting on the pole today will be able to keep him out in front of any possible wrecks that might happen. Ty Dent had a rather good finish last week, at, or a couple weeks ago, I should say, at Bristol. He's now moved up to 15th in the point stance, and he'll line up on the outside of the front row. Alex Tanker, third in the point stance, only four points out of the top position in points, is lined up in the third position, and Amadou Diallo, who also has had good runs both at Daytona and also at Bristol. He comes into the race fourth in the point standings, also only four points out of the top position, and he'll line up in the fourth position. Zeke Marley, our winner a couple of weeks ago at the Bristol Brawl, comes in as the points leader. And we'll give you the overview of the points as it's time to uh, get these cars rolling off. Coming into this race, as we said, Zeke Marley's the points leader by two points over Lyndon Wright. Alex Tanker is third in the point standings, four points out. Same for Amadou Diallo, he's fourth in points, four points out. Zachary Chambers is now fifth in the standings. He is 11 points out of the top position. Nick Barney is sixth. He is 12 points back. Mark Burski is seventh in points. He is 14 points out. Morgan Grempler and Samuel Light are eighth and ninth. They are 16 points out apiece. And then rounding up the top 10 standings is Tony Blazer, who is a total of 21 points out of the top position. Pace Car peels on to pit road using the breakdown lane. We're about ready to turn them loose here for the Spartan Shootout. As Luis Hernandez and Ty Dent in two rides that Elliot Sadler used to drive. Ironically, Green Flag is out though. We're underway here at Spartan. Hernandez going to get the early advantage here. Running the middle groove through that corner and he will keep the lead as they are four wide behind him and now contact. Oh man, that was Austin Weiner, and I believe it was also the 41 of Jake Baskinger. And that was right near the middle of the pack. That's going to bring out a caution flag. First caution of the day coming out after contact between the 36 and the 41. They were almost five wide back there too, and I think that's what might have led to that wreck happening. Let's look and see for certain who else may have been involved. There is what's left of Austin Weiner's machine, and there is Jake Baskinger. Oh, Jason Trost has also been collected in this. And there's Morgan Grempler, one of the drivers inside the top 10 in points, came in eighth in the standings. He is collected in this. There's Zeke Marley back here, the points leader. Looks like she got through it. Thought I saw maybe a little buckle on the hood of the 29 of Corey Williams. Looking further up through here, everybody else, for the most part, appears to be okay. Looks like at the most, maybe even with that wreck, we only had maybe five or six drivers involved. If so, that was quite a job by everybody else to avoid. But caution flag is out. Luis Hernandez is the current leader. Let's jump back real quickly, take a look at replay of what just happened. Well, Austin Weiner started this race off from the ninth position. And I think that you can only place the blame on the 36 as far as this is concerned. Well, then again, maybe not. Baskinger did come down, but I think Weiner came up. There just really wasn't enough room for them to go five wide like they did. And Morgan Grempler's going to be caught up right behind this, and there he gets clipped. He's going to go up, and he's going to pancake it, nose it up into the safer barrier. There's the hit from Jason Trost. Who then slides up, and he's going to hit the 17. 17 may actually have flipped over. It did. Oh, my goodness. Morgan Grempler's car flipped over on its side. And we saw more damage on another machine. There is Corey Williams. Did Corey get a piece of the 22? No, he didn't. He did get through it. But I thought we saw someone else involved. Guess not. Guess it was just the 41, 36, 17, and 22. But I thought there was someone else that had some damage. Apparently not. So a four-car incident is what it looks like. 
Man, that's quite surprising. I thought it was more than that. Four drivers getting involved here in the first wreck. Everybody else does a great job getting through. And we're under our first caution of the day here at Spartan. Let's head back for the green. So we'll get back to green flag racing on lap six of 30. Luis Hernandez is the leader. Second place is Amadou Diallo. Alex Tanker runs in third, fourth Kyle Thomas, and fifth now is Harrison Ponder. Our winner from the Daytona race, Stuart Gratton, is now up to sixth. Seventh place, Zach Rogers. Nick Barney runs in eighth, Ty Dent is in ninth, and, or I'm sorry, Lyndon Wright is in ninth, and in tenth is Ty Dent. Uh, Samuel Light is in eleventh. Caleb Far or Carter Fargo uh, runs in twelfth. Thirteenth place is Kalish Schmidt. Fourteenth, Jacob Cornigo. Chris Luvia runs in 15th. The rest of the top 20 are Austin Mongold, Mark Bursky, Rohe Vidarabu, Sky Commons, and Richard Johnson. As we get ready to go back to green flag racing, we will have a total of 25 laps to go once they hit the stripe. Single file restart this time, so maybe, just maybe, we can run a green flag run here. We haven't done much of running green flag runs in the uh, Last of Us Light series so far this season. It's Amadou Diallo got a great restart, and he's going to go to the point just like that. Luis Hernandez maybe spun the tires or something, but Amadou Diallo hit that restart perfectly, and now he's going to go to the point. Battle on for third. Alex Tanker has it. Harrison Ponder wants it, but he's going to have to wait because the caution is out again. And apparently Tanker did get Ponder at the line and is able to still hold on to that third position. And Lisa Gonzalez is back here in the 88. And I don't see anybody really with damage. I think maybe we may have had a spin. And I think it might have been the 88 of Lisa Gonzalez. I'm not certain. Lisa Gonzalez comes into this race 14th in points. Was trying to get up inside the top 10. And it looks like... That is what the caution will be for, is for a solo car spin. So why don't we quickly look back and take a look at a replay of what puts under the yellow for the second time here today at Spartan. And this is coming off of two. Lisa Gonzalez going to get a little bit of help here from Kyle Sosnowski in the 14. little contact as well there for Marion Shalrett in the 45. And Lisa going to spin it down towards the breakdown lane. Gets it turned the correct way. Mash of the throttle continues on and really didn't even lose touch with the tail end of the field there with the couple of stragglers in uh, Austin Weiner and Jake Baskinger. So a nice save there by Lisa Gonzalez. Really didn't get much damage either, so she'll be able to continue and maybe try and work her way back up to the front. But that's the reason we're under the caution once again. Let's head back for yet another restart here at Spartan. Well, this is shaping up to be exactly the way most of our races so far this season have been, where we are under the yellow more than we're under the green. But we're ready to go back to green once again as it's going to be lap 11 when we go back to green, giving us 20 laps to go in today's race. Amadou Diallo leads, Luis Hernandez second, Alex Tanker third, Harrison Ponder fourth, and it's Nick Barney in fifth. Then Kyle Thomas, Zach Rogers, Lyndon Wright, Stuart Grattan, and Samuel Light. That is the top ten, and the green flag is back out. One that got the good restart that time was Harrison Ponder, as he immediately goes to the inside of Alex Tanker for third. And he will now take away that position. Be nice if these drivers could go into a bit of a green flag run though. We got a tiny green flag run back at Bristol. But that was after numerous caution flags and a lot of drivers had retired from the race. So that kind of went without saying that they really weren't going to be wrecking it up as much because there weren't as many drivers on track. Right now though, I don't believe we have many drivers out of the race. Actually, we only have one driver who has taken his car behind the wall and that is Jason Trost in the 22. Well, maybe we're going to get our wish here. We are still green flag racing, but Amadou Diallo has opened up a huge gap between himself and this battle for second place. Harrison Ponder now going to take it away from Luis Hernandez. Lyndon writes up in this mix and his teammate Nick Barney as well. A couple of drivers out of Roush Race in the 26 and the 16 both running inside the top 10 in points. Lyndon Wright is second in points and Nick Barney is sixth in the standings. As a matter of fact, um, all but one of the Roush cars came into this race in the top 10. Morgan Grempler did as well, but he's hit his problems here today. The only driver that was from Roush Racing that did not come in inside the top 10 in points. Actually, no, there were two. 
Stuart Bratton, our winner from Daytona in the 6, he's 11th in the points, and Aaron Henderson in the 99 is 31st in points. As Lyndon Wright is now going to take second place away from Harrison Ponder, let's find out where our points leader, Zeke Marley, is currently running. Currently back here in the 35th position, just ahead of Marion Schalrett and Kyle Sosnowski. Trying to work his way past Rohit Darbu and Skyla Johnson up ahead. And this is not exactly where the 44 needs to be. There's a number of other drivers doing well in points, including Lyndon Wright, Alex Tanker, Nick Barney, and uh, Samuel Light are all doing well up at the front of the field. And so for Zeke Marley to be running back here is not exactly such a good idea. Zeke's running out of time, too. We're past the halfway point. Zeke Marley's got to start working his way to the front. It looks like he's doing so. Just got by Rohit Darbu. That was for the 34th position. A couple other drivers we haven't seen up at the front. Let's find out where they are. How about Zachary Chambers in the 48? Here he is just ahead of his teammate Crystal Reed. Zachary is fifth in the point stands. Right now working the inside of Benjamin Miles. That would be for a spot inside the top 25. And just up ahead of him, not too far ahead, about maybe four cars is the other car I was going to look for. And that's Mark Bursky. He's currently 21st on track. Bursky seventh in the point standings right now. Move back up to the front of the field, though. It is all Amadou Diallo leading the way. Lyndon Wright is now broken away from third place Harrison Ponder. Ponder now by himself in third. Then the battle on for fourth. Samuel Light now taking a position away from Nick Barney. That's a battle between uh, sixth and ninth in points right there. And it looks like Jacob Cornigo is actually starting to pick up some ground here. This is actually a good run for both the 31 and the 5 of Kyle Thomas. They really needed runs like this because they both come into this race 35th and 36th in points. So solid top 10 runs for them right now. Another driver who needed a good run today who's getting it is the 66 of Zach Rogers. Currently running in the 10th position and Rogers comes into this race currently sitting 24th in points. Meanwhile, let's head back up here to the front. As we got another battle shaping up, this time for the third position. Samuel Light's car apparently coming to life here late in this event. He just bypassed Nick Barney, and now he's all over the back bumper immediately of the number 30, 13 uh, Certainty Chevrolet out of MB2 Motorsports. And now Samuel Light right there going to try and go for the third position. The two powder blue and white machines, one a Chevy, one a Dodge, battling for that spot. And Nick Barney hoping they're going to keep up that battling for a while so he can come up here and make it a three-man fight for third. Meanwhile, up ahead, Amadou Diallo continues to lead and he continues to tick away laps and the caution flag is out. Oh, that's the last thing Amadou Diallo wanted to see. Wasn't it last week at Bristol a caution flag that cost Amadou Diallo the win? I think it was. I think Amadou Diallo had a huge lead at Bristol, and when the caution flag came out, it brought Zeke Marley back to his back bumper, and Marley was able to make a move for the win. Oh, boy. Is it going to be deja vu all over again? Amadou certainly hopes not. But that brings Lyndon Wright, Harrison Ponder, Samuel Light, and Nick Barney all right to his back door once again. What was this caution even for, I'm wondering? Oh, Kyle Collins! One car of Kyle Collins is the reason this caution comes out. 18th in points, had an opportunity to move himself up in the top 15 in the points today. And Ty Dent, as well as Mark Versky, another couple of drivers running well in points. 15th in points for Ty Dent, and Mark Versky running 7th in points. Looks like they may have gotten pieces of this incident as well. Rohit Vidarbu, looks like he may have a little bit of rear end damage as well. So a couple drivers involved in this one, a couple of drivers running well in points and Spartan picking its it's taking its marks at least right now on the drivers that are running well in the standings and right now has basically pulled back everybody together as we're going to have I believe less than five to go when we do get back to green but let's take a look at a replay of our third caution of the day here at Spartan or maybe it's our fourth I'm not sure anyway it's a replay so let's look at it 
Watch on the right side of your screen. The 15 of Kayla Schmidt is going to be the one to start this wreck as he's going to get Ty Dent in the left rear. Turns him down the racetrack right in front of Kyle Collins. Now Kyle, I believe, is able to just barely hang on to it as he does kiss the wall with the left side of his machine. But I think the problem is Kyle is going to try and bring it back up on track. That's exactly what he does. And there you see he just takes out Ty Dent in the 19. And then they're going to come back down here into traffic. And I believe this is where a couple more hits are possibly going to come. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, wow. Zeke Marley just barely gets through there. There's Vedaravu. I thought I saw... Oh, there's Versky. Now, how... wait, how did Versky get involved in something here? Oh, it was another incident. Oh, the 15 of Kayla Schmidt caused this one, too. After he makes contact with the 19 and the 1, then his car shoots back up the track right in front of the 2 car. It collects Mark Versky. And then watch Austin Mongold in the 84 and Zachary Chambers in the 48. Oh, Mongold did get, did get a piece of it. He actually comes up and he's going to get the wall, too. So that was another driver that we didn't know involved that did get collected. So that is what brought out the caution. A chain reaction wreck. Contact between the 15 and 19. Down into the 1. The 15 then bounces back up into the 2. And the 40 or the 84 is collected as well. So that's what put us under the caution here. For, I believe it's our third time, but maybe our fourth. But anyway, whatever the case, it's still a caution flag. And has bunched the field back up for what's going to be maybe a four, maybe even a three lap shootout to finish out today's race at Spartan. So let's head back there now. And we have gotten the word, four laps to go when we go back to green flag racing. And a driver that's probably becoming very sick of seeing caution flags is Amadou Diallo. I can't help thinking back last week to Bristol. When he was dominating the Bristol race, a caution came out late. And Zeke Marley came right up to his back bumper for the restart and bypassed him for the win. The driver that will try and pull a Zeke Marley today is right behind Diallo in second. And that is second in points too. Lyndon Wright, who could take over the points lead here today. Third place will be Harrison Ponder. Samuel Light, who's got a very strong dodge. He could do something here. He's in fourth. Fifth, Nick Barney. Holster to Luis Hernandez is sixth. Jacob Cornigo runs in seventh. Eighth is Kyle Thomas. Stuart Gratton is in ninth. And Je uh, Joey Van Hoot runs in the tenth position as we get ready to go back to green. If the caution comes out at any point during this four-lap shootout, the race will be over at the line. And here comes Lyndon right to the bottom. Harrison Ponder going to make it three wide. Samuel Light thinking about four wide here through turn two. They almost went four wide as it's side by side between Lyndon Wright and Amadou Diallo. Samuel Light now right there in the mix. So is Nick Barney. So is Harrison Ponder. Hitting the stripe that lap led by Lyndon Wright. Amadou Diallo trying to capitalize here on the high side. Trying not to lose the lead that he has led this race for so long. He doesn't want to miss out on this win as he continues to battle side by side with Lyndon Wright. Samuel Light right there and now Amadou Diallo starting to lose touch with the 26 on that low line. Again, Lyndon Wright leads the way there with two to go. Diallo trying as hard as he can. Driving the wheels off that thing, not to lose the lead, but I think he slipped up there. I think he may have lost it. Oh, wait, no, he's battling back on the high side again. Lyndon Wright continuing to hit his marks down low. Rim riding is the 11 of, of Amadou Diallo, and I think now he has been cleared. He has. Lyndon Wright has cleared him. White flag in the air, one to go. Diallo, though, back to the right rear. He's coming back on the high side again is Amadou Diallo. Samuel Light. Hard down there on the inside line as Lyndon Wright tries to move up, tries to block the 11 from getting a run here into three. Here we go. Through turns three, four for the final time. Amadou Diallo slips up. He's lost the lead. Lyndon Wright's going to take command and he'll come to the checker flag. Lyndon Wright Lynn wins the Spartan shootout here at Spartan Raceway. And for the second straight week, Amadou Diallo gets screwed by a late caution flag. What has got to be going through the mind of the driver of the 11, Amadou Diallo? Second straight week, first Bristol, now Spartan. He dominates the race. Then a late caution comes out, and the driver right on his back bumper passes him for the win. 
Last week it was Zeke Marley. This week it is Lyndon Wright in the 26. Man. And with that win, Lyndon Wright not only will go to victory lane, but he will move his number 26, Irwin Industrial Tools, forward to the top of the point stands as he came in only two points behind Zeke Marley, and this win guarantees him the lead in the points. Wow, what an unbelievable finish, but what a heartbreaker there for Amadou Diallo. Second week in a row. It was deja vu all over again. Man. What an unbelievable event here today. Fortunately, we got more green flag racing in than I expected, so we're finally starting to see some good green flag racing come out of these Last of Us Light Series drivers rather than watching them under pace laps all the time, but anyway, this event is over and Lyndon Wright becomes the third different winner in three races here in the NCAA Last of Us Light series. Hope you guys enjoyed today's race from Spartan. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to Cup of the Crew today. Here comes your official full fishy results. Overall point standings coming into the next race, which um, I believe we are going to the high banks of Talladega Super Speedway for our fourth race. So hope you'll tune in for that. Coming up next this weekend, we still have two races coming your way. The Mobile and Sickers Cup Series coming to the restricted plate track of Coca-Cola Speedway for some great high bank racing there. So hope you'll tune in for those as you've been watching Dutch on the SRA Offline Racing at its best. Sean Henley got turned by Chad Dunham, and he saved it. What are these guys doing? Oh, and Henley just got turned now. That time he got turned. Logan Wilson is flipping on his roof. Dylan Young is collected. Sutnowski's collected. Dylan Young is now flipping. Zidadino's involved. Barry Cole is in it. Drew Austin has been collected, and Dylan Young continues to flip. Now comes to rest. There is our caution.